In this video, we drive a tiny home on wheels all the way through Europe trying to escape the winter. And we're having breakfast on the beach. It's safe to say that life is not always perfect. Sometimes things break. Hopefully that will be it and we'll be in Turkey ASAP. But because it's Christmas, in the end everything works out and we live happily ever after. Or do we? Someone just drove into us. I suppose that's the end of van life. Join us on our journey in our self-converted camper van as we try to escape the winter in Europe and drive all the way to Istanbul in Turkey. The reason we're actually in an Airbnb is because we didn't actually know it will be this hard to find water. What we didn't realise is in the winter all the pipes freeze and we couldn't shower. But we showered now! Yes! One more thing that we actually have to do before we leave is this. Imagine it's fixing the heater as it's making a lot of noises. It's becoming louder and louder and apparently it's to do with this fan but unfortunately I have to take the whole unit out to uh, have a look at it and I tried to take this off but there's no access I've just had a shower when this spins it creates a noise inside like something's Rattling. Catch, catching on to it, it's mm. like rattling, but I guess I have to take it apart and see. Just t take it apart, but know how you've taken it apart, yeah, remember? I've taken it apart and there doesn't seem to be a, a problem anywhere, but I'm going to spray some WD-40 in there, see if that helps. I don't want to take the whole thing apart. Uh, I've just watched a YouTube video saying it could be a problem with this motor. It's just noisy and there's not much I can do with that. Fixed it! Jesus, scared the shit out of me! <laughs> I usually like take things apart and can't put them back together. After a very eventful few days, we finally made a move towards Bulgaria and decided to head towards the Black Sea coast. And we're in sunny Bulgaria. First night over and we've just found water. Huh? We didn't plan to visit the Bulgarian coast, but right before taking a turn, we made a last minute decision to head to Varna. This was definitely the right choice, as the next morning we were blessed with a beautiful weather. And we're having breakfast on the beach. Welcome to Bulgaria. Right outside of Varna, we found an amazing car park very close to the beach. We are not sure what the rules are on staying here overnight during the summer season, but we can imagine it gets very busy because it's simply stunning. With Christmas right around the corner, our next mission was to clean the van. I think it might be time to explore the city of Varna. I was absolutely obsessed with the fact that I can see real coconuts on trees and then I decided to lean on this and come, come closer can you hear this? oh wait this one this one sounds real it's fake there's no coconuts on this one either like the coconuts on the trees are fake what? there's even paint coming off them <laughs> wow. Varna is the third largest city in Bulgaria and is often lovingly referred to as the Pearl of the Black Sea. Similar to Budapest, there are many thermal mineral water springs in and around. 
Surrounded by sandy beaches, Varna in Bulgaria is a great destination to disconnect from daily life in order to both relax and enjoy yourself. Still can't get over the coconuts. There is no way we wouldn't try food in one of the few local restaurants that was still open off-season. Later this evening, we experienced a beautiful sunset and quickly forgot about all the stress we went through the past few days. This is what we imagined the van life to be. And sometimes it is. Someone just drove into us. Luckily, the only damage is the license plate that came off and it's a bit shattered. It was two young boys. I just had a laugh with them, told them not to drive into other people's cars. After our previous spot turned into a massive street racing night party, we moved to an even better spot closer to the beach. This is one of the slowest mornings we had in a while and it definitely recharged us with a new and positive energy. It's Christmas prep time! So we didn't actually get the Christmas tree. It would be too hard to store for the rest of the year. But we got some bits and bobs. I love Christmas, so making this van a little bit more Christmassy, it's making me really excited. In our culture, Christmas is a special time. On the 24th of December, we sit down as a family for a Christmas Eve dinner, usually consisting of vegetarian dishes. This year is different in two ways. It's the first time we will not be spending time with our families in Manchester. But it is also the first time we'll be spending Christmas Eve together. Hey! Hey! hey. Yesterday's weather was definitely a glitch in the matrix. Alright, come on, let's make the bed and draft the turkey. We are five minutes away from the Turkish border and we just got ambushed by border police who checked our papers and everything and told us that we probably won't be able to go through this border because they don't take vans. <sighs> Let's see if they let us through. So this is the border and it looks like that's the place where you have to get your car disinfected in order to actually be able to get into the country. Scam! Apparently they only take cash. I had to use all my charm slash begging skills and we got through. Yeah, we still got to go to the Turkish border. Border, checkpoint. There's Massive queue though. Why is this so, like, why is it going so slow? Guess what? Three hours later, we are here! Good thing is you can actually buy car insurance on the border which costs us 40 euros for three months. Yeah. Turkey is a country full of breathtaking landscapes, vibrant culture and ancient wonders. It's perfect for those who want to explore the unknown as it has something for everyone, from the ancient to the modern. Our first stop was Istanbul, which made us feel like we're in both Asia and Europe at the same time. Istanbul is a magical place that has endured many changes in its time. This city has been influenced by many cultures over the years, such as Greek, Roman and Russian. 
which have all left their mark on the history here. The presence of so many cultures combined with Istanbul's strategic geographical location has made it an important trade hub for centuries and it continues to be so today. With the city being home to so many people, it has built one of the most diverse societies in the world. This is reflected by many merchants selling various products literally everywhere. Istanbul is not the capital of Turkey, but it is a very important city for Muslims. It is the most populous city in Turkey and it has many mosques which are considered to be the most famous attractions of Istanbul. This is Hagia Sophia, one of the most well-known and iconic buildings in Istanbul. It is a former cathedral and mosque located in the heart of the old city. Right opposite Hagia Sophia is another mosque called the Blue Mosque. This mosque is the symbol of the country. Built in 1616, it has been named after its blue tiles and dome within. There are a lot more places you can visit in this city and it's quite easy to find a good blog post with an itinerary to suit your needs. You can probably come here for a whole month and still be left with unexplored areas. Visiting Istanbul during the off-season is amazing as you have more time and space to take in all of the tourist sites. And I'll be honest, the best time we've had in Istanbul was when we lost ourselves in its many narrow streets full of saturated smells, sounds and shapes. One thing for sure, this is a busy city both on land and on sea. With many boat tours aimed at tourists, you don't have to explore the city on foot. And definitely do not try to explore it by car as the traffic is crazy. We finished our day in Istanbul by visiting one of its many rooftop terrace restaurants to enjoy the beautiful sunset. <laughs>